As this channel goes along, I focus more and more on the most basic fundamentals that DIY newcomers need to know. And there is nothing more basic than plumb, level, and square. I hear people use these words incorrectly all the time, and I get the impression that they might know that they don't have it quite right, but maybe they're too embarrassed to ask for clarification. So let's set the record straight today. We'll discuss what these three terms mean, how they apply to the homes that we live in, and the stuff that we build. That's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. Okay, let's start with the one that gets used incorrectly most often, plumb. Plumb means truly vertical or perpendicular to the horizon. So plumb basically means straight up and down. It's not hard to see why this is so important to houses. We don't want our structures to lean. If they lean, they're likely to get crushed or fall down like a house of cards. In order for vertical framing to work correctly, it has to be very plumb. This way, gravity pulls the weight of objects above it directly down onto the framing member. This is how it gains maximum strength. If it leans a little, it can create buckling or kick out. So a wall or framing member that isn't perfectly vertical is called off plumb or out of plumb. We typically measure or test the plumbness of something with spirit levels or bubble levels. And these days, of course, we have laser levels. I'll do a lot of level videos in the future because they're so important. And I already did one on testing your level for accuracy. So check that out if you're interested. Also, to find plumb when we're building things, we sometimes still use a plumb bob, which is basically just a dummy weight hanging on a string. It uses gravity to indicate plumbness at the pointed tip when the string is no longer moving. This lets us transfer layout points up and down through empty vertical space. And that's something that's not easy to do without a plumb bob or something like it. And this tool has been around for thousands of years. The word plumb actually comes from these tools. It refers to the lead weight that Romans used to make plumb bobs in certain waterworks. This is also where the word plummet comes from because it means to fall straight down with a lot of speed. So just remember, plumb, perfectly vertical or upright. The word level refers to our other dimension, horizontal. We say something is level when both ends are on the same horizontal plane. This is also somewhat relative to the broader horizon or perpendicular to the gravitational pull of the Earth. If a surface is slightly out of level and you put a circular object on it, gravity will pull it to the lower side. However, if the surface is truly level, the object should stay put. Once again, we test this on the job site using bubble levels mostly and laser levels. It's utterly important in the foundation building phase. We don't want sloped floors and all that starts with a good foundation. But we also need to establish true level to set the pitch for intentionally slanted surfaces, like roofs and handrails for stairs. By finding level, we can accurately build things at a certain pitch that is off level. And in construction, we'll also use this term to describe a flat surface with no irregularities. This comes up in concrete work a lot, where they're looking for a level top with no dips or high points. Keep in mind, these surfaces don't have to be level to the horizon, like sloped driveways, for instance. They just want them to be flat and regular. So we sometimes use level to just mean perfectly flat or smooth. But in carpentry, in the building of structures, when most people say level, what they mean is truly horizontal. And next, sort of combining the two, we come to square. Square refers to two intersecting surfaces that form a 90 degree angle. This is just your common right angle. In construction, we rely on right angles everywhere. For instance, we find them on the outside of objects, like drawers and cabinet boxes, and of course on the inside of those same objects. We find it at the point where a floor meets a wall and the point where a wall meets a wall. Square can apply at any dimension that you move it through. It only means that two surfaces are set at 90 degrees in relation to one another. This concept is so fundamental that we refer to the tools that determine squareness as squares. We've got the classic speed square, which I love, the much larger framing square, the fixed blade tri-square, and the combination square. We slide these tools into corners to test for square. Visible gaps prove that structures are out of square, which just screws things up in carpentry. We correct this before continuing to build. Also, nearly all of our building materials are designed around square angles. Rectangular sheets of plywood have square factory corners, which we rely on in the field. Siding boards have square ends, and even two by fours are expected to be square. We're obsessed with square in construction, because when you start building something square, it's much more likely to remain square as you go along. Now, that said, almost nothing in a house is truly square. This is because the scale of a house is so big. It's easy for woodworkers to keep drawers and tables square because they're smaller. They can be more meticulous. But build something house-sized, and all your intersecting corners start to get a little out of shape. Materials aren't perfect, and crews are often under pressure to build quickly. 
Trim carpenters are constantly dealing with out of square construction as they try to finish a house with clean looking trim. On bad days, they may curse the framers who came before them. But to some degree, every tradesperson understands that things being just a little out of square is basically part of life. All right, so quick recap. Plumb refers to the vertical dimension when something is perpendicular to the horizon. Level refers to the horizontal dimension, a surface that is flat in relation to the pull of gravity. And square refers to surfaces that intersect at a perfect 90 degree angle. And I'll also note that we sometimes use the word true to refer to any of these concepts. If something is off plumb or not quite level or a little bit out of square, in the field we'll sometimes say that these things are not true or that we need to true it up a bit. True just simply means that things are set to accurate, exacting standards and that it's okay to proceed building off of them. That's my take on plumb, level, and square. What do you think? Did you learn anything new? Do you have another way of explaining these concepts? Let me hear about it down in the comments. I'll link some of the tools seen in this video down below. Feel free to browse them if you need anything. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back in for more videos coming up soon. And please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.